Hi, I'm Andreas on my channel here Beyond Four Strings. Normally on this channel you can find original pieces as well as cover pieces on my electrical violins as well as on a traditional violin. However, today I would like to present you how to use your old Zeta Jazz Fusion, both the standard version as well as the Jean-Luc Ponty version in combination with a GR55 guitar synthesizer. So, at first I would like to show you how the plug on the Zeta looks like. So, if you look here at the Zeta, you have this uh, MIDI port, which is a 8-pin port. On this plug you have the channel 1, where it is not completely clear what it is, but I think it's the plus 7 to the violin, but in my case at the moment it's just unused. Then we have the different strings in a quite random order, which just comes as also the numbering of the plug is quite strange. Then we have a pin 7, which also is uh, not known what it could be. But then the pin 8 again is the mixed signal from the violin, which is the same as comes out of the jack. In addition you have the ring, which just serves as a ground. A bit more complicated is the Roland plug. At first you have of course the six strings, six as it's a guitar synthesizer and the normal guitars have six strings. Um, starting with the highest string and then just going down. On pin 7 you have a composite input which is again what is the jack signal, so the mixed signal. On pin 8 you have a synth volume. The synth volume means how loud the GR55 plays with synth voices. It's a signal between 0 and 5 volt. On pin 9 you have a strange signal called selection of mode. This is new for the GR55, e.g. the GR33, which was the model before, didn't have this signal, so it was just unused. Here it selects if you just hear the pure synth sound, if you have a mixed sound in combination with the synthesizers and the processed um, composite sound. Or you can also switch to normal, which is just the standard composite sound. On pin 10 and 11 you have select 1 and select 2, which are made to change the different instruments. On pin 12 and 13 you have plus 7 and minus 7 volt. And on the ring again you have um, the ground. <laughs> in general, Zeta sells a cable called uh, adapter cable from Zeta to GR55. So a cable from 8 pin to 13 pin. This might work for new Zeta violins, however, for old models like the one I have here from 1994, these adapter cables definitely do not work. Therefore, I tried to find out how to connect the channels from my Zeta violin to a GK55. And to do so, I just bought a GK3 kit. I bought a used one because I didn't know which of the channels I really would need. So this GK3 kit normally is meant to be built into a guitar just to upgrade a standard guitar to a um, MIDI guitar. And to understand how to connect the different channels, I just looked into uh, the di circuit diagram as it is in the manual of this GK3 kit. What you can see is that each of the strings as well as the uh, composite input all has individual preamp circuits. And then on the downside of the page um, you can see the creation of the signals for the synth volume, for the selection mode, as well as the connection of buttons for uh, select 1 and select 2. What I did now is that I just connected the 5 strings, or 4 strings in my case, directly from the Zeta to the uh, GR55, so I avoided to use the preamp channels. I did so because I also tried it the other way around through these preamps and I found out that the noise level is much higher. However, for the composite I just use the preamp which is in the uh, GK kit. I also tried both possibilities, so directly from the Zeta to the GR55 as well as through the GK3 kit and I found out that in general the 
clearness of the sound, especially also the loudness, is much better if it goes to a preamp. But I think everyone can just figure out how you prefer to have it. So it works in both ways, but in my opinion, the version which just goes through the preamp has a better result. What I did now for trial is that I just used this kit and then I took a black metal box here and just make some kind of connections inside so that um, I can play around and just connect and reconnect the different cables. In general, it is of course not necessary to use all channels. So you can also work with a fixed voltage for a selection of mode. You can also work with a fixed voltage for a synth volume and select one and select two. You can of course also change on your system on your GR55. So in general, you just need the strings directly connected to the Roland. You need a composite input, which should be in my opinion preamped but it is not completely necessary. You can use, for example, as a synth volume, just a fixed voltage of 5 volt. For the selection of mode, I would just propose to use the mixed uh, voltage, which would be 1.04 volt. So you can make this just with a, a voltage splitter. Select one and select two is not necessary at all, because you can of course also change the instruments on your GR55. And then you can just produce a small adapter board which just connects to different signals and implements the different voltages and then you don't need to buy this uh, GK3 which is round about 100 bucks. As a starting point for the settings in my uh, GR55 I just used the proposed settings from the Zeta homepage. For sensitivity for the strings, you choose values about 20. What you can see is that you have now an individual signal in every string. What you can see as well is that of course not only the signal from the uh, string which you are playing is active, but you have also a signal on all the other strings, which is of course much lower. Now it's just a bit of a work to set up both the internal settings in the Zeta violin as well as the settings on my GR55 to get a good trigger, but however do not over trigger. What you can see as well if you connect your GR55 to a MIDI in, so that you now get also a MIDI signal what you play directly on your computer. So, as you can see, he has directly triggered what I was playing. As the system normally is made for guitar, of course, um, you have some problems with long notes, so that instead of one long note, he triggers two short ones, or that if you just have a sliding effect, then it makes all the notes in between. But in general you can use also the MIDI port pretty well if you just want to improvise and then afterwards see what you have done. When you have connected your Zeta violin to your GR55, the real work just starts. Because now you have to find out what the ideal settings for you are. So you have of course uh, the starting settings from the Zeta homepage, but these are really meant just as a starting point. On this Roland GR5 you can select two synthesizers, you can select how loud the standard signal, so the composite signal is, and then you can also add different effects like chorus, like reverbs, like vavas, like amp simulators, like distortion effects, and so on and so forth. And then you have to find out which settings are just the ideal for your pieces and uh, of course, not every of your piece will have the same setting on this device. So for the beginning, I just propose to make a, some kind of standard setting and some kind of rock setting or electric setting, what you mainly play. And from this starting point, then you move forward. But this will be the topic of the next video. Thank you for watching. If you found it interesting or if you can use it, please just click the like button and add some comments about your experiences.
please also click the subscribe button to get all updates from my channel. Thanks a lot.